Arsenal bounce back from Liverpool thrashing with 4-1 win against Fulham. Arsenal put their 5-1 defeat at Anfield behind them by getting back to winning ways with a flattering 4-1 win against Fulham at the Emirates. The Gunners had won just one of their last five matches in all competitions before taking on the Cottagers and trailed Chelsea in the race for the top four by five points. Arsenal continued where they left off on Merseyside by starting sloppily against Claudio Ranieri's men and should have been behind but for Ryan Sessegnon's charity in front of goal. Granit Zaka's opener came against the run of play when he volleyed in a pass from Alex Ibe and Alexander Lacazette settled Arsenal's nerves by doubling their lead in the second half. Ababakar Kamra got one back in controversial circumstances to threaten a late comeback but substitute Aaron Ramsey restored Arsenal's two-goal lead before Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang added a fourth late on. With Emery past the halfway stage of his first season at Arsenal, it remains unclear what his favoured system will be at the club. The Spaniard has, more often than not, played a 4-2-3-1 formation at the Emirates but the Gunners' display at Anfield convinced him to switch to an unorthodox 3-4-1-2 system against the Cottagers. The system afforded Emery to pair Lacazette and Aubameyang in attack but Arsenal lost their usual control in midfield and looked susceptible on the counter-attack. Shkodran Mustafi Laron Kosilny and Secretis made up a back three but their lack of mobility meant they were hesitant to defend one-on-one -on -one in wide areas, which is a necessity when playing without traditional full-backs. Emery barely left his technical area during a difficult first half and was giving constant instruction to his defenders when they were in possession but it was clear they were unsure where their next pass should be played. IB was the main beneficiary of the system as he could float in a free roll in between the midfield and attack. The position would surely suit a player of Mesut Ozil's ability but IB grasped the opportunity with both hands and created a number of good openings in the first half, as well as setting up Zaka's opener. Despite their 1-0 lead at half-time, Emery clearly wasn't happy and reverted to a 4-1-2-1-2 system after the break. The formation granted the Gunners more control and despite the visitors scoring their only goal of the game reduced the threat of Fulham on the counter-attack. The formation granted the Gunners more control and reduced Fulham's threat on the counter-attack, though they did register through Kamara. Ababakar Kamara's goal means Arsenal have conceded 31 times in 21 matches so far this term, more than 12 of the 20 clubs in the top flight. Emery's failure to settle on a system has undoubtedly affected his side's ability to keep clean sheets but it's clear he has little faith in a central defensive pairing, forcing him on occasions to play with three. Mustafi's removal at half-time was in part to introduce Lucas Tarreira but it was mainly down to the Germans' poor passing in the first half. Emery turned away in disgust as Mustafi launched a long ball up to a hapless Aubameyang midway through the first half and he will be desperate to add to his backline in January. Arsenal have contemplated recalling Callum Chambers from his lone spell at Craven Cottage but Emery deserves to pick his own centre-back and the board should back him to do so this month. Laurent Koscielny proclaimed in his programme notes that Aubameyang was in the best form of his career this season and the numbers back up his claim. The Gabonese took his Premier League tally to 14 for the season against Fulham, putting him above Mohamed Salah and Harry Kane. Aubameyang had just 13 touches of the ball in Arsenal's 5-1 defeat at Anfield but he was far more involved against Fulham and could easily have had a hat-trick. The Gabon international's goal came via deflection with 10 minutes to go and he celebrated with striker partner Lacazette, who had been removed for Aaron Ramsey. Arsenal fans booed Emery's decision to take off the Frenchman but Ramsey scored within three minutes and Aubameyang is the far more prolific forward out of the two. Emery would ideally like to pair the two more often but he's yet to find a system that doesn't compromise their defensive responsibilities and until he does look as it is likely to be the one that continues to be sacrificed. More, Jurgen Klopp surprised by Allison's passing ability for Liverpool.